Well, how do there, chums? Does I, Captain Lovers Steves, and today, chums, for you guys in the viewerverse, I'm going to be showing you how to set up a mineral extractor, and I'm going to be doing it on sort of like a barren moon, so I can get rusted metal for the autophages. Now, there is a bit of a prerequisite in finding sort of resource areas, and you're going to need a survey scanner. So if you head on up into the Nexus, and you talk to this guy, that looks like he's a shark. His name is Eos. He's next to the multi-tool cabinet. You should be able to research multi-tool upgrades, and the one that you want is this one over here. This is the one that you want. Oh, oh, oh. It is a survey device. Fuck yours. You want to pick up that. You want to make sure you've got that installed into the multi-tool that you're using at particular time. There you go, it's installed inside of my lovely multi-tool that you can see on the screen here, people. Yeah, I'll show you my stats. Let me just get myself off the screen for a second there, peeps. Boom! There you go, there's my stats right there. You can see it's pretty darn sweet, isn't it? Pretty nice. I guess, and I'm back again. Of course, lovely jobly. Let's just get rid of the view counter because I'm not live. Done. So there we go, that's the prerequisite. That's the only real prerequisite you need. And to find, like, um weird moons that have got rusted metal on you're best to try and have maybe an economy scanner installed and also a complex scanner you can buy them from this guy over here they're not essential you can find these places by sheer chance but it does help to have these installed from the galactic map to see where you're jumping to anyway so they're they're I would say they're sub prerequisites have them if you want them but anyway I'm gonna go find a dissonant system in space and I'm also going to find a, a, a decent area of space. It's going to take me a while, I'll do this in my own time and then I'll reconvene with you once I've found something. Okay now people, what I'm trying to look for is an uncharted system that says data unavailable but also says dissonant. Now there's a good chance that these sorts of planets are going to pick up ones that might have sort of like terraforming catastrophes or barren moons in or strange exotic planets that might have the rusted metal I'm after. Now, yes, rather than using my ship, I am using my freighter and I've installed some freighter tech from inside of here. So if I go into here and go into which one is it? Uh, base parts and upgrades. Now, you've got this one there that does all the scanning. So that's what shows the conflict area and all that sort of stuff. You only need that one installed inside of here. But there's also another piece of tech that you need to purchase to make this work really well, which is like the scanner room. Uh, which one is it? It's somewhere around here. It's not in there then. Uh, or maybe it is. It's somewhere in here. Um, technology room? No? There's a scanner blinking one anyway. One of these is a scanner. Is it that one? No, it's a storage room. Orbital Exocraft one. There's a scanner room somewhere amongst all of this sort of stuff anyway. Anyhow, I've, I've got it installed. Uh, there you go, scanner room. Yeah, that's the one that you want. Heck yes, install that one. And jobs are good. And up here, here's my scanner right here. And now I've just jumped to that new system. Watch this. Just hit that. Kaboom! It's going to scan every single planet. So that one there, you can see it's got cadmium, sadly. So it hasn't got what I'm after there. Um, I'm looking for rusted metal. So basically, I'm just going to keep... Oh, look, there you go. Rusted metal right there on an airless world called Duckhan. So I'm going to go there, even though it's got aggressive sentinels, which is a bit of a shame that it's got aggressive sentinels, to be honest. But, you know, that that I kind of do just for this sort of experiment. There's also a dissonance uh, planet inside of here as well, which helps with the autophages. So at least you've got a little farm in this system. But anyway, I'll jump down to the planet. You know what, chums, I thought twice about that one because of the aggressive sentinels. I find one that hasn't got aggressive sentinels and I reconvene once I find one. But that's how you find them, basically. Here we go, people. I've found another abandoned sort of uncharted system. And we can see here I've got a planet that hasn't got aggressive sentinels on, which is lovely. It's got ru rusted metal and cadmium. There is also a dissonant weld with inside of here somewhere amongst these. There you go. There it is, the frosted one. Frozen hell. Doesn't sound all that advertising, but we're going to go down to planet Asilili. Yes. OK, well, I've arrived at Kate on said planet. Now this is where you need to use your scanner. So bring up your scanner and then we're looking for a mining area. Now I'm going to need my headset for this. Now there's a reason why you need a headset. We need to have your volume fairly high. As you're scanning, 
As you're looking around, you're going to notice it makes different noises. Like, bleh, bleh, bleh. Okay. You're looking for one that sounds more tinny than that. Just keep going around in a circle. Go quite slow. And you'll notice a difference in chime, in tone. Still nothing. I'll go a little bit quicker. There you go. Hear that? It's different, right? Head that direction. And look, it starts dialing in. Now we found a C class one. Now you can continue looking until you find like a B or an A or whatever. But I'm just going to build it at a C class area. I'm not overly fast. But it has to be rusted metal for my sort of want and need. Because these autophages ask for a lot of rusted metal quite often. I don't say it's in a bloody cave. Isn't that weird? Right? I, don't, I very rarely build bases inside of caves, but that's okay. Now I'm just going to put a little beacon there to mark roughly where this min the mineral extractors need to be. Now they, they don't need to be in a hole or anything like that, so pretty cool. Right, so I've got a terrain manipulator installed inside of here. At least I think I have train manipulator. Now what I can do is I can change that to flatten. And I can flatten all this area here anyway. And hopefully get rid of some of this cave. Like yes. Well that didn't work did it? But you get the idea. You can flatten an area anyway. I flatten this area right here. That'd do. Right. Now what I'm going to do is because I'm going to be building I'm just going to go to options and go to difficulty. Now, what I would say is don't do this if you're running in permadeath or if you're trying to get all the trophies for the game. But you can just swap your mode to creative mode if you haven't got all your base building parts. And then that'll let you build a base to your heart's content right here, people. So there you go. I'm going to put a little base computer just there. Claim this base for myself. And uh, yeah, I'll be able to build whatever I like here, pretty much. And since I couldn't flatten this area... I'm just going to put some metal plating over this area and I can put the extractors on top of it. You can even stack extractors on top of each other. They can be high up in the air. They don't have to actually be even touching the floor. It's a bit of a weird sort of setup, this. Anyway, so here you go. I'm just going to put in some alloy floor panels. Since it's not letting me flatten this area and I don't really want to build in the cave. But where that um, blue line is, is roughly the best point. The best point for your extractors. I'm just going to fill this with extractors right here. Okay, this is going to be my little extractor bay. Now, what, what resource has it actually found? That's the question. Um, so let's just go back into the old scanner. Oh, it's found cadmium. It's found bloody cadmium. I don't want cadmium. <laughs> oh, dear. So, yeah, I mean, I could set up a cadmium extractor here, but I don't really want a cadmium extractor. No, I want rusted metal, which is actually worse than cadmium. You get a lot more money for cadmium. But I'm going to carry on searching it until I find myself a um, rusted metal deposit. Uh, but it's the same process as what I've just done there, people, basically. So, yeah, fun times. I need to just get myself to another area of the planet now and start that process again until I find rusted metal. This could take me a little while because there are two resources here. It's either going to be cadmium or it's going to be rusted metal. And it's just sheer chance which one you find. Oh, look at that. There's a load of metal fingers here as well. They're really good for sort of getting sort of um, decent, decent stuff out of them. Look at that. I'm going to get something out of there. Let's have a look what we're going to get. Oh, these floating crystals. Oh, glowing mineral. I'm going to get a glowing mineral out of that one as well. What about it? Oh, they're all glowing minerals. All right, normally they used to give better stuff than glowing minerals. All right, well, the glowing minerals, you can extract them. So let's have a look what I'm going to get inside of these glowing minerals anyway. So I got crystal sulfide and I got mango gold. All right, well, that's not that great. Anyway, I'll reconvene in a bit, people. Tell you what, this planet's naff weird. Look at that. I've got this weird green thing growing on it. You know, this is an airless world, yet it's got these giant shroomy things on. I've not touched down on a planet like this before, and I've been playing this game for freaking eons, so... But then again, it's very rare that I land on sort of dead planets. Okay, so I'm doing this again now. 
It still picks up my previous one, but... Anyway, you get what I'm doing, people. I'm now listening for a weird sound. Come on, weird sound. There we go. I'm heading that way. All right, wish me luck. Okay, I'll pay more attention to the scan results this time, shan't I, people? But it's a B class, so it's better than the last one. Let's just hope that it's going to be rusted metal, not cadmium. There we are. We found something. What have we found? It's bloody cadmium again, isn't it? It is, yeah. Okay, chums. Well, this took me freaking ages, but I've found a rusted metal point right here. A C-class one. But yeah, you'd see how many others. Look, look at all the blinking icons I've got and my top scanner over there, people. I, I went through loads of them. There was there was even magnetic ferrite or magnetized ferrite amongst them. But anyway, there we go. I've got my pylon in right now. And if I just use my... Um, my, my freaking doohickey, tray manipulator. And now if I use a flatten... Like should be, I'd just flatten it right here. Make a little flat area. Boom. Nice little flat area right here. And that would be for all of my extractors to go right here, I think. Right, there we go. Probably don't need no metal plates right here. And it's still in creative mode. So if I now put down a base computer, I'll put a base computer over here. Chikapow. Lovely jubbly. And I'm going to claim this area. Now, another thing that you can scan for is to see whether there's an electromagnetic hot spot in nearby vicinity. If there is, you're going to get abundance of free power, which is freaking awesome. So let's just use the scanner one more time. And look at that. And we're quite lucky. We've found ourselves an electromagnetic hot spot. So I'm just going to dial that in as well. If I run first and then put in my scanner, I can do the melee strafe jump, and boom. Okay, I'm still in the air. Whoop! Cool. And we found another hot spot right here. This is a C class electromagnetic hot spot. Now I'm hoping this is still inside of my base building confines. It probably isn't, knowing my luck. No, it's not, you know. Now you can put another base computer there, but I'm not going to. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run to a halfway point in between the two. And hopefully just around here will be where my base confines are. There you go. Look, I can now build. OK, so what I want to build here is I want to build some sort of silo to put all my power in. Uh, well, not my power, but my resources that I'm gathering. So where is it? OK, so, oh, you know when I was talking about prerequisites up at the Nexus? It'd be nice if you've managed to unlock all the base building parts that you're going to need for this sort of shenanigans. And I'm struggling. Oh, there we go. I've found a supply depot. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a supply depot there for now. Boom. And hopefully now... Um, where's my beacon? Over there. Hopefully that's going to expand my sort of area out. And what I want to do now is I want to put down a battery. I want to put a battery somewhere around here, people. So I put one there. Chicka-boom. And I might as well put another battery here, rather than having a supply silo thinking about it. Well, I could put, I could put all the storage here, to be honest. It doesn't really overly matter. I'm going to put a battery here as well. And this could be where I actually gather all my resources. So this could be where, where my actual base is going to be by these guys. Now, what I want is, firstly, I want to put down electromagnetic hotspot, one of these things, over on that pylon. So let's go down to where I just put that battery. And hopefully, standing here, I still have my base building area. And I'll go into the base camera by pressing in the L stick on here. And I should be able to place this well, just a little bit closer. Go here. I should be able to place this. If I can't, I'll put down another battery a little bit closer to it. Maybe I wasn't quite there. Oh. So I stuck that there. Like so. 
You know what? I'll put down a second one. Just because I can. Chikapow. And I'll put down three and four. I, I mean, you don't need too many of these, to be honest. Okay, and then all I need to do is get this little wire and connect these all together. Chikapow. Come around there. Connected onto there. Okay, now they're all connected together. I need to connect that to the battery that I'm standing by. Just there. Lovely. And I'll be able to bring this power all the way over to my base, hopefully, people. So if I jump up to this little this little guy up here, this is where I'm going to build my base. And I'm just going to put that onto that battery there. Hopefully it's going to reach. There you go, it's gone green. And that's all connected now. So that's my base power all in. Okay, so this is a storage container right there. And at the moment you can see it's empty. I haven't got anything going to the storage. So where I originally put my first base over here, and in this little flat area, is where I now need to put my extractors, the mineral extractors. Now if you've used, you can find gas in exactly the same way that we found minerals. So anyway, let's get this here. So let's just put down a load of these. Pow. 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 And you want them all roughly around where you found your power, your um, mineral in the ground. So let's just stick all these here. And these things are going to be making a heck of a lot of noise in a bit. Now you see there, I've got one that's sort of overhanging. If you don't like the look of that too much, you know, you, you can put in sort of like a, a metal floor panel underneath it just to make it look like it's not floating in the air, like so, you know. You can do that to make it look like it's, it's, it's sort of meant to be. And, you know, what I like to put on there as well is either some stairs going up to it, like, you know, like so. So it looks like it's actually built out. Ah, for much sake. Yeah, put those ones sideways. There you are. There we are. That looks pretty darn cool, doesn't it? Now they're not so much floating off the ground. Well, that one still is slightly, but who cares? Right. Anyways, next you want to power all of these up. So I could put another battery here just so, you know, it's, it's easier for me. So I'll, just, I'll stick another little battery there. Doesn't really matter. And all I'm going to do now is run this over to where I can see my storage silo. Because um, over here... Here's my other little battery on yonder hill. And if it doesn't quite reach, I might have to put another battery in. But there you go, it should reach. The distance on these things is pretty cool. Pow! There we go. That's all connected, so I've got power over there. Let's just let's just leg it back over there. Hiya! Like the wind. Now all I'm gonna do is connect all the batteries up together on this one. Chicka pow! Power. You're going to hear them start like a little heartbeat now. Look at that. Isn't that cool? And you just want them all to be animated. So you need to connect them all up power-wise. Now you could use solar panels. If you can't find an electric hotspot, you can put solar panels here to get them all twitching into life. Right. I think that's all of them. It's just gone to night time. Oh, look, there's one that's still got electric symbols that are not on, so there you go. Put that onto there. Hmm, for whatever reason. Maybe there's not enough power coming to it. Strange. Can't get that one to go into... There you go. Now it's working. Just took a lot of extra connections for some reason. There we go. We've got all that going. Lovely. So now you've got all that going, you now need to connect these together using this little kitty. So this is like your um, pipe work for the materials to go into. So again, just connect all these together. Make sure they're all on a circuit. Lovely. Make sure you don't miss one. I'm sort of zigzagging mine. Do as you want with yours. There we are. Pow. Pow. 
And then off the back of this one, I'm going to be connecting this all the way up to my storage silo. Now, the reason I want to build my base a little bit away from all of them is they're noisy. They're freaking dang noisy, aren't they? So here we go. Let's just keep going all the way this way. And I'm just going to connect it to here. It's going to look a little bit shite. I'm stretching this cable all the way over here. But there you go. Pow. There we are. And now if I go over to this storage silo and interact with it, it's going to tell you how much it's, it's going to store and how long it's going to take. So there you go. Pretty darn cool. It's going to take me about, what, three hours to get that completely full. And I'm going to get like 1,200 an hour. OK, well, that's pretty darn sweet, isn't it? You don't really need too many storage silos. It's the extractors that really matter. And it's only a C-class deposit, so if I would have spent some more time and found myself a B-class or A-class or even an S-class, I'd be getting a heck of a lot more than I'm getting right now. But I think that gives you the basic idea. And then I can just build myself a nice little base right here. It's got its power, it's got everything I need. I mean, technically, you could then look to see if there's a gas deposit. Oh my days, there's a gas deposit! And it's an A-class right by here as well, people. That's pretty impressive. I might go and stick down one of these. I might put a gas extractor in. OK, well, let's go do that then. And then I can show you the mineral and gas in this one video. All right, run like the wind. Hiya! There we go. Now, I'm going to have to extend the base this way as well, which is always a fun one. But you just do that by, you know, either using a storage silo or using a battery. Because I need to bring power down here anyway. Okay. Lovely jubbly. Nearly there. Come on. My days. I don't even need a gas really on this planet, but you might as well get it if it's freaking free and it's nearby. Alright, any time now. Ah, can't run. There we are. Billy, billy, be. Oxygen. Oh, that's pretty handy to have an oxygen farm. Right, oh. Well, um, cool. So right there, I'm just going to put the gas extractors. Oh, look at that. I'm still inside my base confines. That's handy. Put down a couple of gas extractors. I just have f I just have four. I'm not overly bothered about you know gas to be honest. Kapow. And yeah, now I can just wire these all together, and make sure they've got power. Uh, right. So my base is there. Uh, my um, battery must be over on yonder hill somewhere. It's still picking us up, so let's uh, let's just run and see if we can find where that is. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba -ba I'd be surprised if I can make it reach all the way without having a battery in between the middle. But you know, stranger things have happened in this game, haven't they? Ah, this is this is this is longer than I thought. This I don't think this is going to happen. But uh, we we can give it a try. It's gone red. Look, cannot connect. Too long. Yeah, it's far too long. All right, fine. So you know what? Let's just go back into camera mode and let's just put the cable sticking out the ground right about here, as far as it will go. I'll put it on this blinking rock. Hopefully it's on that rock. Ah, dang it. I've lost my cable now. Ah, you get back. All right. I was trying to be clever. It didn't work. All right, fine. Oh, look, there's the cable there, I think. No, it's not. All right, OK, well, I'll put a battery right here then. Pow. Then if we go back into cable mode, the cable I put somewhere around here was sticking out of the ground. I've lost a dang thing. I don't know where it blanking went. So we'll, we'll just walk back over and I'll do it the long, the old fashioned way. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to run. OK, come on, come on, come on. All the way over to here. Chicka pow. Done. That's now connected. Run back again. Go. Oh, I keep pressing the wrong button for run. Okay. 
Ah, look, I think that's the old cable there, not that it overly matters. I keep pressing the wrong bloody button, that's doing my nutting. Okay. Ah! Oh, I've done it again. Alright, anyway, I'll just run there. It's because the run button is a different run button in pretty much the other games that I play at the moment. So we go, let's hit that one up. We're going this way. And hopefully it's going to extend all the way to the battery that I have over here. Come on, this is a long blinking cable. Okay, connected. And now what I want to do is I want to get one of these little silos. And what I'm probably going to have to do is put one up on the hill where this battery is. You know, I'll put another one over here anyway. This one can can store gas and it can store like minerals. So let's stick that there. And the other one. I've done it again. I hope this is making sense to you guys in the view of us. And I'm just going to go stick this one up next to this battery right there. Chicka pow. It's only because of distance that I'm putting it there, you know. And I'm just going to connect that. Okay. All the way over. Ah! I keep doing that rather than pressing the run button. I keep pressing camera mode button. Sucks. Bum, 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 bum. On to here. Like so. Now these should be moving right now. They should have animations. Those little things should be going up and down right now. Okay, let's connect them together. Maybe the animations broke on them, which doesn't really help. But normally they're like little pistons, like a psh, 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 psh. Maybe they're broken. I don't know. All right, fine. And um, uh, just follow this along. And now what I want to do is just connect this one. Pow. To that second silo that I put over yonder hill. This one over here on the right. Now you can make them different colours if you want. So you know which ones are mineral, which ones are gas. Like, you know, because this one's... I could do this one red for oxygen and I could do the other one green for the uh, rusted metal so I'm gonna put that onto oh fudge and heck did that not connect it, it changed at the last second I don't know whether you spotted that people I don't know whether that's connected let's just interact with it and see if it's working yeah it is working so there we go even though the animations on these ones aren't working for whatever reason they, they look a little bit broken got a cup of tea on the go here people That's also going to take an hour or so. And you can see there, that was a slightly better class. So I'm actually getting a better yield off of that one. So if I did want to change the colours of these, if I just go into the build menu, build menu, pick any old thing. I don't know, um, let's just choose that for a second. And go into here, you can choose what colour you want it. So I want it red. So, uh, da 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 da. Now I've fudged this. Normally, I don't have struggle this much with this sort of stuff. I haven't done this for freaking time, people. So, it's one of those. Ah, I don't know. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> ah, fun times. All right, I'll, hold on. You go. You, you have to press that. There you go. Now it's there. Then to toggle colour, you press it on it. And bang, there we are. I'll do that again on this one. So all I've done is I've gone into build mode. And then if you press square, once you're in build mode, you have to select something to go into build mode. Once it's actually selected, you press in the um, touchpad on PlayStation and you choose the colour. So I'm going to do that one as rusted metal. There you go. All right, cool. So let's just uh, interact with that. Got the rusted metal on the go. And I've got the oxygen on the go. So that's how you do gas. That's how you also do minerals. And that's how you can make yourself a nice little rusted metal farm. 
Heck yes, and I, I could build this out a little bit more if I wanted to, but you know what? That's that's all I need for this actual purpose of a video. These are all still going, aren't they? Why are they not animated? Hmm, maybe I haven't got enough power here for the whole lot of them. All right, anyway, let's upload that base for a second. And I will put down some more power silos then. Yep, let's go over here. Let's give it a bit more power. Maybe it hasn't got enough power to power everything anymore, people. So I'll just stick down a few more of these little power beacons. Go. Cool. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba. I'll just get another load of these on the circuit. I'll put another row here. Sod it. Right, that's probably more than enough power now. I've got into wire mode. Let's just get all these on. Lovely. Jubbly. Right. Hopefully that's got enough power on this blinking circuit. I'm just going to make sure it's definitely all connected. To give me enough power now for it all to blink and just spring into life. Let's have a look how we're doing with this. Let's have a look how the battery's doing. So it looks like it's got enough power on the grid now. You can see that it's actually going up 54%. So for it to be fully charged, it's going to take a little while to get there. But that does look like there's enough power going in now. So let's head on over. Let's see if these are all sprung into life. They're making their lovely noises. Yes, they're making their lovely noises. Let's go and have a look at the gas ones to see if the gas... I've now got an animation on these as well. Because they should have an animation if they're working right. There you go, look. They're now working. So the problem was I didn't have enough power. So there you go. That's a little tip for you. Make sure you've got enough power. <laughs> okay, right. Now if we go check these extractors over here in my main area. Hopefully... We're going to see that the, the time has gone down a little bit on these. There we are. Cool. Yeah, it's still going to take a little while. It's still 0%. But it, it's slowly filling up, people. It's slowly getting there. And then this one over here. Yep. It, it's working. But yeah, it, it's going to take a little while. I mean, I've got 250 that I can have right now if I wanted to. Pretty cool. And this one, it's going to take a little while before I get my first bit. But I have only got, like, what, four extractors for oxygen. I could put down more if I wanted to, but oxygen isn't the main priority here. And what I might do is I might just put down a little teleporter. So if I do come back to this base, if I teleport back here, rather than it put me over at that other mess over there, it's going to put me right here. So there we go. Pow. Done. I go re-upload my base. Are they still animated now they've hooked up? Yes, still got the power. That's all good. All right. Ah, I didn't mean to do that. But you can see there how much it's gathering. It's doing quite well. And I'm just going to call this Rusted Metal Base. Here we go. There we are. Rusted Metal. And Oxygen. There you go. Rusted metal oxygen. that do. And upload base. Done, dilly, and done. Well, yes, people, that's how you can make yourself a little rusted metal farm. And, and, it, and that is just a real small one. Now, if you do want to come here, if, you, if you're having problems and you, you can't make your own, you know what? I, I give you the coordinates to mine. There you go. They're in the bottom left hand corner over there, people inside the viewer verse. You can go and hit those up. This is in the Euclid system. And you know, if you want to put down your own farm here, find your own little rusted metal deposit. And it's, there's also a dissonant planet in nearby vicinity. So learning autophage and turning in the uh, rusted metal is something that you could do here. I mean, even if you had a cadmium farm here, that can be good too, because you can convert cadmium into chromatic metal. And then chromatic metal is something that the autophages want also, people. So there's also that to bear in mind too. So I think this could be a good little planet 
for having autophage farms to get all the resources you need to learn autophage if you want to do it the legit way but there you go people until next time goodbye goodbye and goodbye again